Hello and thanks for tuning in to Kaokine TV. I'm James and it's great to have your company for the early trades. Let's get started with our market opening commentary. Shares tumbled in opening trade on Wednesday following a decline for US stocks. The S&P ASX 200 index plunged 0.7% in the opening minutes of trade. All 11 share market sectors declined, led by the tech sector which fell by 1.6%. The worst performing shares among blue chips were Megaport down 10% and Novonix which fell by 5.1%. On the other hand, shares that were performing well in the opening trade included Brainchip Holdings up 17%, Virgin Money UK which edged 2.5% higher and Incentic Pivot up 2%. A number of announcements were also made from ASX listed companies despite the challenges posed by COVID-19. Linus Rare Earth clocked record sales revenue in the December quarter. The ASX listed metals and mining firm exceeded 200 million Aussie dollars in sales in the given period, which was a record for the company. Linus contains a portfolio of aligned assets and is engaged in the processing and extracting of rare earth minerals. In the morning, the stock was trading 0.18% lower. Investors have also been selling down the Megaport share price today amid broad weakness in the tech sector and the release of an underwhelming second quarter update. Megaport reported a quarterly increase of just $0.6 million or 7% in its monthly recurring revenue to $9.2 million. In the morning, the leading Elastic Interconnection Services provider shares were down 12% to $16.10 apiece. Mining giant BHP also provided its quarterly report this morning. BHP production guidance remains on track for iron ore, energy coal and nickel, but it will be a lower forecast range for copper. Moreover, metallurgical coal guidance has been reduced as well, and the drop in copper guidance reflects lower produce guidance for Pampa Norte. Metallurgical coal guidance has been reduced due to significant wet weather impacts and COVID-19 related labour constraints. In its update today, the company also said that the shareholder vote to unify its share market listing in Australia would be held on January 20 and, if it proceeds, will be completed on January 31. The merger of the petroleum business with Woodside is expected to take place in the June quarter. And lastly, Brainship Holdings, a world leader of ultra-low power, high-performance artificial intelligence technology and the world's first commercial producer of neuromorphic AI chips and IP, today announced that it has begun taking orders for the first commercially available mini PCLE board leveraging its Akita Advanced Neural Networking Processor, rounding out its suite of AKD 1000 offerings. The share price is yet again breaking new, breaking new records today. The company made a positive announcement regarding its neuromorphic artificial intelligence chips. In the morning, the AI tech company shares were up 18.82% to $2.21 per share. Its shares have risen 2,000% in the past month alone, and in its release, Brainship advised that it has been granted a patent to add to its growing portfolio. Approved by the United States Patents and Trademarks Office, the latest edition will further protect Brainship's intellectual property. All right, well, that's all for now. Stay tuned to Kalkine TV for the latest market updates, business news and exclusive interviews. I'm James Preston, reporting for Kalkine.